Hello folks and welcome back to my channel. Um, well, as you can possibly see behind me, um, the sky is nice and clear and for the first time for weeks we had a, a proper clear night last night with no moon around. So um, I was quite keen to get outside with my scope. Uh, it was a bit cold, you can probably see there's a bit of snow on the ground, uh, but it wasn't too bad. Um, so yeah, I was quite excited yesterday. I spent most of the day I'm in an ring about what I should take. Um, the obvious targets are those in Orion, uh, and that gets above a tree line at about 8 p.m. for me. Uh, but I was also kind of half tempted by some targets in a next door constellation, um, Monoceros. Uh, principally the Rosette Nebula that I've shot before and the Cone Nebula that I've never shot. But um, yeah, in the end, I opted for targets in Orion and I picked the uh, Flame and Horsehead Nebula that I think I last took probably three years ago almost. Um, so I was keen to, to revisit that again. So um, yeah, I'm going to wind back the clock to last night and take you out to me, uh, me setting up. My name's John and I make videos on camping, walking and astronomy. If you like what you see in this video then please check my channel out as you may find others that interest you there but in the meantime let's crack on with this video. Well, a couple of weeks has passed and the um, snow has been and gone. It's now a kind of fairly balmy 10 degrees or so outside at the moment. Um, but while the snow was around, I was dead lucky. I um, had a trip planned up to the Lake District and the day that I arrived, it absolutely came down a huge load of snow. And the following day was a, a crystal clear blue sky day. So um, it was the first time I've had conditions like that for about 30 years. So um, I had an absolutely fabulous walk uh, in the mountains there. It was really, really good. So I was dead, uh, dead fortunate for that. So um, that's the reason this video is a little bit delayed coming out because I was um, off doing that. And uh, yeah, if anybody's interested, my, the video prior to this one uh, covers that trip. But um, anyway, back to the night in question, um, as is usually <laughs> the way with these things, things didn't quite go to plan. You wouldn't really notice it from the, the bit of time lapse video that I just put up, but um, my red dot finder decided to um, not work. So I had a, a minor panic while I rushed around trying to find another one. 
um, which basically cost me uh, an hour. So I was hoping to get three hours on the target, but um, yeah, I got two in the end, but never mind. Um, I often find I target three and don't get it, I get two. Uh, so maybe I'll have to target four hours and, and get three that way uh, throughout the coming year. But anyway, once I was actually rolling, um, a single image looked dead promising. Um, so I was very pleased with that and I, was, uh, I went indoors, left my rig running quite happy with what was going on. And the stacked image that came out of that was also very pleasing and um, I felt showed a lot of promise. One of the interesting things between a, um, a single image and a stacked image is I, I often see comments on uh, Facebook kind of astro groups and stuff where people say that they can't they that they believe that the the single image isn't is no worse than the, the the stacked image and indeed in some cases the single image actually looks better than the the stacked image um and in my case here when if you compare the um single image with the stack of, of 70 90 second exposures um, there's not a huge amount in it in terms of the the detail that you can see but the the answer really comes when you try and process those image a single image you don't get very far before noise starts to overwhelm the image whereas the a stacked image you can process uh, a lot harder and push the image a lot further and basically the more images you have with a longer exposure times the uh, the better the image turns out to be so um yeah it's, you shouldn't really get disheartened when you see your stacked image and figure that it's no better or potentially even worse than, than a single image anyway once i'd processed mine i was um was quite pleased with with the result um it's a lovely area of sky uh, the the area around orion's belt and this particular area here is one of my favorites just because you get two iconic targets within the, the same field of view on my scope anyway. Uh, the Horsehead Nebula has come out with a bit more detail than any previous attempts that I'd had and this is really due to the longer overall exposure time. I think I've only ever done about an hour on, on that target before so here I had uh, 70 90 second exposures, which is probably a smidgen under two hours. I'll have to do the maths on that. Uh, and I also got more detail in the, the, the flame nebula as well. Um, so yeah, I was quite pleased with the image. It's not perfect though. When you blow the image up, uh, particularly if you want to get like a more detailed look at the horse head, my stars start turning egg shaped and this really uh, was my own fault almost certainly due to uh, poor initial setup which was really me panicking after I um, had to run around trying to sort my red dot finder out um, I didn't take the care that probably I should have done so um, yeah I kicked myself a little bit over that now but that gives me some scope for improvement again next time I, I do this image so, uh, but yeah, overall, I'm quite pleased with it, to be honest. So I shall put that up now and I hope you like it and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Cheerio.